Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We finally did it. We knocked out that 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball Mega Edition Dual Case Break number five. 40 total boxes, all pick your teams, all card ship. Uh, the, the Mega Chrome Base Packs are basically what we're chasing here. Very big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Thanks to everybody who bought their spots straight up in this dual case break. And we did pull, we got almost all the teams done. It's Carlos with Double Last Spot Mojo, A's Pirates, except for the Padres. We had to do a filler for that and William won the Padres. So congrats to you. Thanks everybody for making this happen, appreciate you. All right, and we've got both cases right here. You can see on this camera right over there. So let's let's get it going. Now this break is gonna take a while, so kick back and relax. And let's see if we can pull some nice stuff out of here. Feel free to, it's been pretty quiet in the chat tonight, but feel free to, to uh, keep me company in this break to help this break move a little bit more quickly. And then these are the, these are just regular packs and these are the mega packs right here. That's where you'll see the, uh, the, the mega chrome refractors, potential numbered cards, autographs, all that good stuff. All right, one of 40, good luck everybody. Corey Seager with a home run today, giving the, uh, giving the Rangers a 2-1, the win and the 2-1 lead in the series. There's a nice Adley Rushman rookie card. And we got a Jesus Caba to 75. Iconic Mike Trout. Nice, so the Phillies, that's Chris Parent with the Phillies. And Adley Rushman will go to Francis and the Orioles. Nice. I suppose there's really not too many autographs, so these are going to be your hits. I'll just top load them as I go as well. All right, next box. So it's open from the bottom of the box so that sponge piece doesn't get in the way. I want these mojos on the bottom when I flip them around. All right, that's a nice uh, Felnine Celestine Bowman first. And that mojo design, that'll be for Su Min. Su Min and the Mariners. We've got a iconic Oswald Peraza as well. Nice rookie insert for the Yankees. That'll be for William and the Yanks. two boxes in front of me here, make myself a little little room here. Yeah, oh yeah, we're ripping everything, like we usually do. We are ripping everything. That's the, that's the only way we've done it. We 
get a couple open at a time here. Got my Lakers on TV here. They're uh, down four points, starting the second half to the Orlando Magic. Back-to-back -back for them. They played the Kings last night. Lost to the Kings last night in overtime. Looking to bounce back against the Magic tonight. Baseball-wise, Rangers beat the uh, Diamondbacks today in Arizona, three to one. Mostly the pitchers doing the work there. Marcus Simeon coming alive a little bit. Went one for four with an RBI. Corey Seager, two RBIs and a home run. Evan Carter keeping, his, keeping up his hot postseason. Went two for three. And both teams cobbled together a game here. Both teams using uh, five pitchers. There's a Corbin Carroll. What did Corbin Carroll do today? He went 0 for 3 today. This will go to Frank and the Diamondbacks. And then we got a Luis Torres, purple, Bowman first. That Drew Jones, not a Bowman first, but obviously all cards ship. Uh, Angels, John Samuelson has the Halos. You'll get the purple Mega Chrome, 36 out of 299. Breeze through those. There's a Yoshida. And a Sebastian Walcott. And a Drew Jones, Magenta, Francisco Alvarez, Iconic. For the Mets, that'll be for John Samuelson. Not numbered, although these could be. And then the Drew Jones is pretty nice. That's going to go to Frank and the Diamondbacks. And it's going to be kind of scary as to 199. Diamondbacks already have a strong young team, and then they could add Drew Jones to that lineup in, a, in another season or two. It'd be kind of scary. Game four is tomorrow. Who does everyone have in uh, game four? Maybe I'll post a poll. All right, the poll has been posted. I'm of the, uh, now this, this doesn't always work this way, but generally speaking, it, in championship series, the zigzag theory does, does work. You know, obviously they're the best of their leagues. So you've got to think that, uh, you got to think that, you know, they'll, most of the time, these teams will trade punches. So the Rangers fought back in one game one, walked it off in, in extras, and the Diamondbacks put the hurt on the Rangers in game two in Dallas. They won, so Rangers won the game one six to five in the 11 through 11. Diamondbacks came back and punched the Rangers in the mouth, nine one. I don't think the Rangers got more than a three or four hits in that game. Then they went to day off and they went to Arizona, started game three today, and Rangers quieted the uh, Diamondbacks batch three to one. So 
So now what happens in game four? I had a little investment on the Rangers today. They were, they were slight road favorites. And I thought they'd bounce back from their previous loss. Here's an autograph, Mikey Romero. Not too many autos in this. Nice one for Boston. That's going to go to John. And we've got a blue Jesus Cabo for the Phillies to 150. That'll be for Chris Parent. There's another Celestin. Not numbered, but it'll go to Kim Sumin. Let's try to find some color here on this. Snag another two here. So, so far in our YouTube poll, people have Arizona. 60% of people thinking Arizona. What's, uh, who's starting? Any early lines on that game? I don't know who the problem, anyone know who the problem we're gonna be tomorrow? For what it's worth, ESPN Analytics has the Diamondbacks winning only 44.2% of the time. The Vivid Seats ad, ad on ESPN are saying tickets are as low as $285 for Diamondbacks Rangers game for a World Series game? Seems low. I feel like the last time the Dodgers were in a World Series, I feel like home game tickets were, like the cheapest were like 500 or something like that. We got Yasser and Mercedes. Corbin Carroll, iconic. Nice, Frank got the Diamondback straight up in this break. Pretty cool looking set. Insert set. And there's a Brandon Maia for the Yankees. It's one of the bigger names for the Yankees. And in this product that goes to William. Got the Yankees straight up. Right, here are your mojos here and an autograph, Henry Bolt. It almost looks like he has a cell phone in his hands. He's just like, hello. Yes, I just recorded a hit. Carlos, last spot mojo, strikes again.
Basketball season is also underway, ladies and gentlemen. I think most most games are a final tonight. We got the Nuggets beat the Jazz, 110 to 102. Nikola Jokic ties LeBron and Jason Kidd with his 107th triple double. Thunder beat the uh, Pistons 124 to 112. Thunder, that's a team that could be way ahead of schedule, especially with Chet Holmgren back on that team. Warriors beat the Pelicans 130 to 102. How is, uh, how is Zion looking? Zion, 30 minutes, 7 for 15 from the field, 19 points, 5 rebounds, a few assists, a couple steals, 5 turnovers, that's not good, 5 fouls on the game, maybe limited his, uh, his aggressiveness, I don't know when those fouls happen, but. How about, how is Chet Holmgren looking? Looking pretty good, 24 minutes, 14 points, four rebounds, three assists, two steals, four blocks, plus, plus minus a plus nine. Very efficient, four for five from field, from the field, four for five from the three. Did he only take threes? I think he only took threes. There's a Josh Young. Made an amazing defensive play. On a, on a weekly hit ball down the third baseline, sprinted down the third baseline, barehanded and got the runner out at first. There's Corbin Carroll. And an autograph, there's Tyler Locklear. For Zoom In and the Mariners. Eighth ranked Mariners prospect. Nice. You're welcome. All right, another two. Yeah, this Thunder team could be pretty scary. Especially with Chet Holmgren, a big addition to that team. Jalen Williams, 19.7 rebounds, six assists. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 32 points, nine rebounds, four assists, three steals. Josh Giddy with 21 points. Two big guys in, in Giddy and Holmgren and then allows those guards to do their work. Dork, SGA, scary team there. Heat uh, fell to the Bucks. Bucks won 122 to 114. Giannis and Damon Lillard combining for 58 points. That is also another scary matchup. I don't, I mean, Giannis probably hasn't seen this kind of spacing in a long time. He doesn't have to rely, he doesn't have to be counted on to, to make jump shots. You know, Dane can ha can take the, the last second type shots. Makes, makes Giannis' life a lot easier. We got an Ethan Salas. First of many, I hope. This is gonna to go to William and the Padres. He won the Padres in the filler. 
We want some color, we want some potential ink. That's the stuff we're looking for here. Blue Jackson Cheerio, 13 out of 150 for the brew crew. That's gonna be for Kyle. Nice. Luis Torres, Jason Crawford. All right. All right. Let's get another two boxes rolling here. We'll go two at a time. Trailblazers beat the Raptors, ninety-nine to ninety-one. Mavericks beat the Grays 125 to 110. Hawks beat the uh, Timberwolves 127 to 113. Celtics beat the Wizards 126 to 107. Nets beat the Hornets 133 to 121. Cam Thomas dropping 33 points. He went on a real hot, hot streak last year for for a handful of games. This could be another hot streak. Could be good for daily fantasy. And my Lakers are on TV. Right now on the Lakers network, they're down eight points. Magic are on a 7-0 run. And they're up 80 to 72 on the Lakers in Los Angeles. AD taking a three, shoot. Off the back of the rim. And Coach Darvin Ham wants him to shoot maybe five, six threes a game. Just to keep defenses honest. Take a look at the box scores here. Anthony Davis has 20 points. That was his first three-point attempt in the game. They're nearing the end of the third quarter. And he's got 20 and 12, four assists. LeBron has seven, two rebounds, four assists. D'Angelo Russell, 16 points, two rebounds, eight assists. Austin Reeves, 11.3 rebounds and a few assists. Christian Woods got nine points in 13 minutes. Gabe Vincent, nine points in 13, 17 minutes. So some good efficiencies here, but yeah, is Bancaro heating up? Kind of a slow game for him, yeah, but I think he's starting to heat up. Lakers gotta hang on here. So Austin is starting off the season a little bit on the slow side. I'd like to see a little more action from him. We got a Gavin Cross Green to 99. Royals, that's for Fred. Ethan Salas autograph. There it is. That's going to go to William and the Padres. It's the kind of stuff we want to see out of here. And we're not even done with the, this for our first case. So maybe we can start crossing our fingers for some color. Maybe another autograph. That'd be pretty nice. Omar says he's not a big fan of Darvin Ham saying shoot a lot of threes. It's not our strong game. But I think it should be part of our game, though. No, I mean, everyone else is shooting threes. We got to kind of catch up. That's why we got guys like Gabe Vincent. You know, D'Angelo Russell should be shooting more threes. 
the way modern basketball is played. I'd like to, I mean, Anthony Davis should work on it. He probably could shoot more threes. I'm not saying we gotta be like the Warriors or anything like that, but I feel like we gotta be, if we're in the top, because I feel like we've, Lakers have been below league average in terms of threes attempted and consequently, consequently threes made, but threes attempted. Get that number up a little bit above league average. I feel like defense is really our game. If we can play some great team defense, which we can do, I think that's that that's the game right there. We got an iconic Fernando Tatis Jr. blue to 150. We got purple Jason Dominguez to 229. Omar, what do you think about the uh, the minutes restriction? LeBron, be, LeBron James being on a pitch count. I think they're trying to keep his overall. I think some nights he's going to play more minutes, but I think overall they're trying to keep the uh, the minutes average down. Which I think would be would be a good idea. Try to keep him as healthy as possible for the playoffs. It would be nice if the uh, if the Lakers as a team could open up some bigger leads so he can rest rest LeBron. Does he have the young guys on load load restriction time though? Hmm. I didn't hear about that. Yeah. Everyone else. You know, they're young. You, you, you play them as long as you can. Oh, quite, yeah. I was reading, how many times have Kawhi and Paul George actually played together? There you go. I, I, I like Christian Wood on this team. Oh, 
Ooh, some, some yellow, some gold, some Jose uh, Gerardo. 24 out of 75 yellow parallel, not gold. That'll be for the Marlins. That'll be for Frank. And Jackson Holiday will ship not a Bowman first, though. That's gold. Corbin Carroll. Nice. 48 out of 50. Gold iconic insert for Frank. There you go. This is the kind of stuff we want to see out of these mega boxes. There's Gunnar Henderson as well. Nice. Two boxes left in this first case. And then one more case. If I'm lucky, I might be a tiny bit ahead of schedule. I'm trying to move as quickly as I can in this break, but... Huh, Kawhi was at your gym a few years ago, and you shot around with him for about an hour. Pretty cool experience. Was it just, just you and him? What gym? Did you guys talk? Did you give any tips? Any jump shot tips? All right, yeah, Lakers going into the fourth quarter by leading by one. This is this is their time. They got to shut down this young Orlando team, stretch out the lead a little bit, let, let LeBron take the take the game off. Let's open up a lead, Lakers. Let's go. Like a lot of uh, a lot of expectation for the Lakers this year. It's from the first time in a long time where I feel like they have some consistency in the lineup going into the season. Not like a crazy amount of turnover. Maybe some of these guys can build 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 more, even more chemistry with each other. Knock on wood, if they all stay healthy, should be a nice season. Wow, nice. Club Sport and Elisa Viejo out in Orange County. Just you and just you and Kawhi. He was kind of odd. Wouldn't take a picture with you, but he was super cool shooting around together. All right, that's that's a cool experience. What were your uh, what were your takeaways on Kawhi Leonard? Is he like bigger than you think he was, or is he smaller than you think he was? I feel like that's a pretty common thing whenever you meet an athlete. You're like a lot of times like yeah. That dude was a lot bigger than I thought he was, or that dude was a lot smaller than I thought he was. There's Joe, I, I love Lamp, Joe Lamp. Going to Chris and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Um, Nick and his dad went to the Masters earlier this year. I think it was the Masters. No, maybe it was another golf event. But they saw George Kittle there. I don't think it was the Masters. But they saw George Kittle, and they say George Kittle in person, gigantic. Nice, Feline Celestin. 149 out of 199. Always nice to get some color on some of these top guys. All right, autos are few and far between these mega sets, but that's why these parallels are starting to get a lot more valuable. Strong, that'll be for Su Min and the M's. There's another Celestin as well. He was skinnier than he thought he would be, but his hands were humongous. Did, did, like, give me an example. Did, did he like make, what did the basketball look like in his hands? All right. 20 boxes down, 20 boxes go. Like the, but did the basketball look like a, like a grapefruit? <laughs> I 
think uh, for me, as a as a short dude, as a shorter guy, try to get the, all this organized here. I think whenever I whenever I go to a game or whenever I see basketball players in the wild, I was I'm always just like, right, these guys are giants. You know, and even even like um, like how tall is this player here? This this player has come into the store. Six eight, yeah. Uh, Luke Walton has popped into the store a couple times. I think he's buying like usually buying Pokemon for his kids or something like that. But uh, Luke Walton, he listed at six eight. Uh, he's He's, I feel like he's every bit of that 6'8". It was just, he just looked, looked gigantic walking around the store. Wow, so Kawhi holding a regulation basketball like us holding a mini basketball. All right. Yeah, what a crazy... And that, that's when you... That's when you're like... Like you see guys in like pickup games, you know, playing basketball at a, at a pretty high level, you know, or you're watching like college basketball or something like that or you think those guys are good at the professional level man This is true or not, but uh, pe people have, people have said that Christian Wood seems to be a bit of a I don't know. I feel like a locker room cancer at an extreme end. Some people have said that, or just maybe not. You know, at worst he's a locker room cancer. At best, like he's you know may maybe not a team player. I don't know how much of that is true or not. It could, could be just a lot of rumors. But if he can play the way he, we know he can play, this is a great addition for the Lakers. He can do a lot of the inside dirty work that maybe Anthony Davis doesn't like to do. So that frees up Anthony Davis, which could be huge. Ooh, nice block, but a foul. Yeah, and if he's just aggressive deep on the defense like, like he's been doing just right there, at least make some players think twice going into the paint. I would like that. Here's Tucker Toman. That is for Henry and the Blue Jays. There's an Ethan Salas, Bowman first. Come on, guys. Thank you. 
Angelo swiped at him, but I don't think he actually touched him. Got some green, green Jonathan Mejia. 24 out of 99 for St. Louis. That'll be for Omar and the Cardinals. Brand Maia for the Yankees and some uh, orange beyond Spencer Jones. Orange Blaze Jordan for Boston. It's going to be for John. That's the 25. Nice. Nice. Love seeing that orange. That's not a flagrant. Come on, officials. Taken, so these reviews take way too long. No, they're not going to call it flagrant. Angel Russell during the preseason has uh, apparently going to commit himself to uh, being a better defender. So let's see if that holds up. Early. He's plus three on the day. Come on, another turnover by the Lakers? Come on, guys. What are you doing? Wake up, guys. And we got a Victor as tourist. Cleveland, this is for you. 153 out of 199. Chris Parent with the Guardians. All right, push. Ah. Oh, that was still Laker ball. Got a Volpe there. And an autograph, Chase Meadroth for Boston. It's going to be for John G. Nice layup, LeBron. And the Volpe's going to go to William and the Yankees. Poor defense. That was wide open. Good. Rebound. Missed the shot. Push, push. He's 
too small, Anthony. Go after him. I'm not sure if I like Anthony Davis, the mid-range, so much. Come on, Austin. A bad turnover. Another turnover. It's a sloppy fourth quarter. All right, next couple boxes, good luck. Another Salisen for the Mariners. For Zoom in. boxes here. Week 8 in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Thursday night, Bills beat the Buccaneers 24-18. Cowboys putting up 43 on the Rams, 43-20. to Vikings beat the Packers 24-10, but they lose uh, Kirk Cousins for the rest of the season. He did his Achilles. Kind of sucks. I think he was in the last year of his deal. I think he's going to be in free agency. So, I don't know. Vikings might be pretty active by the trade deadline by 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. L.A. time tomorrow. Titans beat the Falcons 28 to 23. Will Levis looking really good. I didn't know if he'd see the field this year, but some injuries to Tannehill. Puts Levis on the field. And so far, so good. Good start. I wonder if there's going to be a... Be a Brock Purdy-ish type story for him. Rattles off a bunch of wins. Uh, Saints beat the uh, Colts 38-27 in Indianapolis. Dolphins beat the Patriots 31-17. We'll go through some more scores and when I rip open the next couple boxes. Hey, Duncan, what's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, I don't know. Will this be the last time we see him in a Vikings jersey? I think so. I heard some. Uh, I read some article on ESPN that was suggesting maybe, maybe the Vikings and the, uh, you know, and the Vikings and the Titans maybe swap quarterbacks or something like that to help each other's cap spaces and maybe. I don't know, maybe the Vikings take like a Malik Willis off their hands or something like that. I don't know. I didn't, obviously I didn't read it too carefully, but. 
But it might be. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that, that not Tannehill, but I don't think that uh, Kirk Cousins was, I didn't, don't think they're going to be re-signing him for next year. Didn't seem like it. Seems even less likely now. Variation Tamar was Tamar Johnson a variation? Not right there, maybe? I'll take your word for it, zoom in. That one? Okay, nice. Pirates. Carlos. Eagle Eyes Zoom In caught that variation. Yeah, I don't know much about Jaron Hall either. But I don't know if... Um, I don't know if they're intending him, him to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. I guess they could play him the rest of the way. Now I wonder if they're now they're going to are they going to start trading away those defensive guys? They got a lot of great defenders on that team. Some that are up for maybe contract extension or something like that. Maybe you just try to trade as many people as possible and uh, and start the rebuild ASAP and stock stockpile some draft picks along the way. All right, so the Lakers still down by two, 420 left in the game. Get up there, Anthony, get in there. I'd be more aggressive than that. All right, we got a blue. Felonine Celestine for Sumin, 131 out of 150. Nice, just racking up a lot of these parallels. Love it. Iconic Adley Rushman for Francis and the Orioles. You're welcome, Sue Man. All these are all these are racking up. Racking up a lot of those Celestins. Maybe grade some of those guys. Maybe get some nice grades out of them. Maybe comes a becomes a second superstar right next to Julio Rodriguez. Mariners go to the playoffs. They go deep into the playoffs. And they become playoff heroes. All of that stuff. That's all. That's what we're hoping for all of you guys and for all the Bowman stuff anyway. Get some stops here, Lakers. Uh, in an ugly game, Jets beat the Giants 13 to 10. Jets winning on a field goal in overtime. Giants managing only less than 10 yards passing. And I guess with the sacks and stuff, I think they're just almost negative yards. Ja Jaguars beat the Steelers 20 to 10. Uh, Kenny Pickett looks like he's going to be okay. Eagles in a tightly contested matchup, 38 to 31. Eagles win. Uh, beat the Commanders 38 to 31. Kalen Hurts, four touchdowns. They scored 21 points in the fourth quarter. And with that loss, you know, the commanders might be thinking about moving some of their guys. Maybe Monte Montez Sweat, I think. And uh, Chase Young, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not Chase Young, but maybe Chase Young. I have no idea. But a lot of teams can use 
pass rushers like that. Panthers beat the uh, Texans on a game-winning field goal. Bryce Young getting his first win over CJ Stroud. Seahawks beat the Browns 24-20. Broncos beat the Chiefs 24-9. Uh, I, uh, I think Patrick Mahomes was under the weather. 31-24 was the final in Arizona. Ravens beat the Cardinals. Uh, Bengals beat the Niners pretty easily, 31-17. I think the Bengals are, are heating up. I think they're... You know, are they back on track? There's Miguel Blease. Maybe uh, Burrow's calf issues earlier in the season are behind him. Miguel Blease for the Red Sox will go to John. Chargers beat the Bears 30-13. to And, of course, my Raiders again for the eighth week in a row. Their offense has failed to score more than 20 points. Lions beat the Raiders 26 to 14. And I think one of those touchdowns was a pick six. So the Raiders offense only managing one touchdown. Lions friend Aaron yesterday was adamant that the that the Lions were gonna lose to the Raiders 30 something to fight. I was like I, I was telling him yesterday, I was like, man, I think it's gonna be Lions like 32 to 14 or something like that. And he was just like, no way, that score is gonna be reversed. And I was like, man, you're crazy. Raiders haven't scored like they haven't scored more than 20 points all season, what makes you think they're going to do it against that Lions defense? I don't know. But turns out I was right. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you would. No, he insisted that he, that's true. I was like, man, you're trolling me. No, he insisted, Duncan, that he was, that he was not trolling me, that he was not doing reverse psychology. That is honestly what he believed. I think he was pretty bummed about losing to the Ravens, but I was like, man, Ravens are like a top five team in the NFL. You know? Like, definitely top 10. You know, I mean, it's gonna happen. And the Raiders are, are one of the bottom five teams in the NFL. They lost to the Bears last week against a, in the rookie debut of an undrafted quarterback from a D2 school. What makes you think that suddenly you snap their fingers on the road and the Raiders will suddenly figure it out? And if it wasn't for some sloppiness from the Lions, this could have been like a 40 to 14 game pretty easily. And there's Edison Polino, another Red Sox autograph. John with the Red Sox. There you go, LeBron James, three in the lead, 101 to 100, 220 left, let's go. Come on, Lakers. Defense. Orlando Magic answers with a three. Less than two minutes left. And we've got a nice blue iconic, blue iconic insert. Riley Green. Green, blue. D'Lo sinks a three. Nice work. 24 to 150. Tigers, that's going to be for Fred and the Tigers. All right, four boxes to go. Lakers up 104-103 on the Magic in LA. Yes, good defense. Uh, 
Uh, you know, Duncan, Lakers games are actually kind of expensive. I think the Lakers have a pretty decent team this year. There's the LeBron effect. How many more years does he have in, under his, in his legs? So because of that, every home game are, are pr pretty expensive. I've never been to a Lakers game. I've always been priced out of, uh, of Lakers games. Let's let's see what let's see what Lakers tickets look like. I should get out there. Should get out to to a game before. Uh, let's see. I guess uh, the Lakers Clippers tickets are as low as seventy five dollars. It says. I could go see, uh, I don't know, I gotta figure out, my days off are on Fridays and Saturdays, so Friday, when's the next Friday game, no, they're away, they're away, they're away, come on, you guys aren't playing Friday, Saturday games? Alright, so they're, they're hosting... Saturday, December 2nd, they're hosting the Rockets. $78 for nosebleeds. Mm. This is a Houston kind of has a fun young team that I could watch. But at this point, I, I should probably just squirrel away money for like a playoff game instead of a regular season game. There's gold, Victor is tourist, 12 out of 50. Twelve out of fifty. All right, shot clock at eight, thirty five seconds left in the game. LeBron with the ball. Drives, got to kick that out. D'Angelo Russell shoots the three. No, off the rim, but rebound. Get after it. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Lakers ball. Timeout. It's purple Samuel Munoz. 280 out of 299. For my Dodgers, Stephen K. Kwasney, Stephen Kwasney with the Dodgers. All right, final two boxes. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. At the 104 mark. I feel like I started dragging towards the end here, but we're almost there. Oh, so you're on Vivid Seats and narrowed the band to 76.99 there, predictably in the rafters, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of tough. And I do love basketball, but I don't know, not not as much as, you know, the TV experience is so good. I did like, I did like watching Summer League action though. I feel like that was a little more intimate to see some of the uh, setting, right? You can see some of the, the youngsters play. It's in Vegas, it's a different vibe there. And that experience earlier this summer was pretty fun. Fanatics officially gets the basketball license in their hands. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe we can twist their arms to take us to a game. A Lakers game. Maybe the Fanatics Live engineers can expense it or something like that. 
Good defense. Jump ball. And a Cutter Coffee, another Boston autograph. I think there's been a, a number of these. John, Red Sox, nice. Not numbered on this one, by the way. But in. I think so, right? Because it, it was Lakers ball, they fouled him. We should sink these two free throws right here and see Angel Ice's the game. Nice, sinks the first one. And DeAndre Smith. Another autograph to close things out. John Samuelson with the Mets. And D'Angelo sinks the second one, nice. So just play that defense. All right, there's iconic Gunnar Henderson for Francis and the Orioles. And then we got Tamaris and Brian Acuna, Ronald's brother. Thanks everybody, that was your 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball Mega Box Edition Dual Case Break. Doubleheader, pick your team at number five. Here is a quick recap. Thanks everybody for watching, for getting in, I appreciate you. It's so kind of a long break, but I appreciate the people in the chat as well keeping me company. Nice Ethan Salas. The Corbin Carroll iconic gold was awesome. Got some base of him as well. The Ethan Salas autograph is real sharp. There's another Ethan Salas. Looks like Henry Bold on his cell phone. Drew Jones. Peraza, Celestin, Kaba, Rushman, Rookie Autos. A lot of great stuff there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.